Last month, the United Nations met in Glasgow to discuss actions that need to be taken against climate change. Here at Millard West, two teachers have taken it upon themselves to not only do their part to help their community, but also educate students on things that they can do to make this world a better place. Well, you've got to also recognize we're all in this together. If we don't all start working together and we can't have 30% of the population basically saying it's not real. Um, we're all going to start having to use less. Millard West is home to its very own pond and wetland area with many species of plants and animals. Both teachers spend countless hours throughout the year to make sure the ecosystem is properly maintained. I have uh, taken over the task of being, I refer to it as the chief worrier for our wetlands area, our pond and, and native grasslands. Uh, I put a lot of hours in during the summer, during the fall and the spring, cleaning, cutting, composting, maintaining. It just takes, uh, for a natural wetlands area, it takes a great deal of effort. Geringer and Higgins spend time informing Millard West students about the effects of climate change and what they can do in their everyday life to improve the environment. Well, you learned a lot about climate change and the impacts, and we also talked about the different solutions such as changing to renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power. And what I took away from it is, I don't know, how to be more environmentally friendly. While being environmentally cautious isn't always the most convenient or easiest thing to do, it's the sacrifices we all have to make to take care of the only planet we have. Well, if you've seen my tiny little puttery car where I drive around, you think I'd like to drive something a little bit bigger. It's just I personally feel I would have to actually buy some sort of carbon credits or something in order to drive a car that like didn't get the 42 gap miles a gallon I get right now. And I will drive that car into the dirt. I have been carrying around the self, same cell phone since whenever the sixes came out. What is it, seven years? But I put a giant case on it because I'm not going to replace this phone until I absolutely need to because I don't be, need to be proving how awesome I am by having the newest cell phone. If you'd like to learn more about the effects and impacts of climate change, as well as what you can do to improve the environment, environmental science and AP environmental science are great options or join the Greenhouse Club and Eco West. It's hard to imagine that you as an individual can make a difference, but it's small things like turning the water off when you brush your teeth, turning the lights off when you leave a room, uh, use your bike more than your car if possible. Uh, it's all the small things add up because it's not something that's out there that's gonna make a difference. It's doing what you can do and then doing the next thing.